Next game I want to talk about is a very interesting one where the Raiders ended up upsetting the Chiefs. Uh, This was a shocking one. Even though the Raiders are a good team, this isn't like the most shocking uh, upset of the season. This was still a surprising one as the Chiefs before this looked unstoppable. Uh, Obviously, I didn't really take much away from the Chiefs versus Patriots game with Cam Newton not being there. Uh, But other than that, the Chiefs looked amazing, and they didn't look great in that game either. So maybe they're starting to slow down a bit, as they definitely didn't look good in this one. Their defense got tore apart. Derek Carr had a really, really good game with 347 yards, three touchdowns, did have an interception in there. And then Josh Jacobs, even though he didn't average the most yards, he was still good this game, 77 yards and two touchdowns. Henry Ruggs had two receptions for 118 yards and a touchdown. He had that massive reception over top where it was a really good throw by Derek Carr. And then we just saw that speed with him being one of the fastest players in the entire NFL. We just saw him outrun this Chiefs defense. Uh, Darren Waller was tearing the Chiefs apart. He only had five receptions for 48 yards and a touchdown. But you could just see his impact as they always have to be super focused on him. And yeah, I mean, the Raiders played a really, really good game. Uh, The defense didn't look perfect, especially... You know, this Chiefs team is so talented offensively, but this was just really a high-scoring offensive battle, and surprisingly, Derek Carr and this Raiders offense was able to out-duel Patrick Mahomes, and I've been really impressed by the Raiders so far. They uh, kept it in the game with the Bills. They lost to the Patriots uh, pretty handedly, but other than that, they've looked good this whole season. They, they've, uh, their only two losses were to two really good teams, two, I would say, top Uh, seven-ish teams in the NFL, and then they beat the team that I, even after this game, still think is the best team in the NFL. So you got to be super happy with how their season has gone uh, so far. They've looked really good, and they've definitely taken a big step. Uh, Derek Carr's have had a really good season so far after looking like a guy that the Raiders could have looked to replace. Uh, Henry Ruggs has looked good so far, and uh, that picked pick has looked uh, very smart for them. Josh Jacobs is having another massive season. Darren Waller's having a great season, really breaking out. Even though he had a good season last year, uh, it's just even better this year. And uh, the defense could definitely use some work. That's still an issue. Uh, But as long as this high-power offense keeps doing their thing, then they're going to keep being successful. And I think they could be a team that could be a wild-card type team. Uh, definitely not a lock for the playoffs by any means, uh, but a team that could be competitive. And every time you're going to face the Las Vegas Raiders, it's going to be a tough battle. But yeah, really nice uh, performance for them. And then on the Chiefs side, Patrick Mahomes just didn't look like himself at this game. 22 for uh, for 43, 340 yards, two touchdowns. And that interception he had was an ugly one. That was just a terrible throw. Uh, Just, again, not like Patrick Mahomes at all. And he, even though they did end up scoring 32, uh, with how bad their defense played, we really needed to see a crazy game from Mahomes, and we just didn't see that at all. And it wasn't like the running game was really much either. Uh, He did have a a rushing touchdown, uh, too. But Clyde Edwards-Hilaire only had 10 carries for 40 yards because with uh, their defense being so bad and them getting in a bit of a deficit, they kind of had to keep throwing the ball. I mean, we did see big plays. We saw some really nice throws to Tyree Kill. He had three receptions for 78 yards. Uh, Travis Kelsey is a, is a mismatch nightmare against any team he's going against. He had eight receptions for 108 yards and a touchdown. He's just so incredible uh, as a receiver at the tight end position. Uh, but it, like I said, it was really their defense that was super disappointing. They just kept getting burnt over the top. They were getting burnt in every single situation they were getting run on. And this is a bit of a scary game for them. Obviously, I still expect them to win the championship. They've been uh, my favorite for a long time now. They've basically been my favorite since last season ended. Uh, But this is something that we've constantly talked about with this team is that they're a team that their defense is far from perfect. They're very imperfect, in fact. And we saw that big issue, but... I just think we saw overall a really good performance by the Raiders, and I expect the Chiefs to bounce back and look better, look more like themselves for sure. Uh, 